Okay, so what I'm going to do with uh, Logisim just now is to demonstrate how to wire up a very, very simple gate. So you can see that I've started Logisim and you can see that what I've done is opened up Logisim with a, a blank circuit board, which is this area here that you can see me moving the mouse over. You'll see that on the left hand side uh, we have a palette of components that we can uh, use in our circuits. Uh, and that there's quite a significant uh, amount of different components that we can use. But for the moment, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the gates that we introduced in the lecture note on binary logic and Boolean gates. And what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to wire up a uh, buffer gate. So you'll remember from the lecture that the buffer gate is the simplest gate uh, that we can have. It actually has a Boolean function which is completely untransformative. So whatever we put into a buffer gate comes out the same as output. So what's what I'm going to do, I select the buffer uh, 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 symbol from the palette of tools uh, and uh, I drag it onto the uh, surface of the simulation uh, and I just let it drop. Uh, what I then do is I go up here and uh, you can see that we've got uh, two types of pins. So square pins are input pins in Logisim and output pins are round in shape. So I take an input pin and I position it to the left of my buffer gate and I take an output pin and I put it uh, to the right of the buffer gate. And then all I do is I connect the little coloured handles uh, from the input of the buffer gate to the uh, input pin on the left hand side and I connect the output of the buffer gate uh, to the output pin on the right hand side. So now my, uh, my circuit is ready for simulating. I can if I want add in uh, little labels. So for example I could put A here and Y here uh, and I can move them about using the selection tool. So I can put A precisely under the input pin and Y here under the output pin. Uh, but basically I've constructed a very simple circuit and now I can go ahead and simulate it as though it were a live circuit. So all I have to do in order to do that is to switch from the selection tool to the uh, simulation tool which is little hand with the pointy finger. And when I do that, uh, if I click on the input pin, you'll see that by clicking on the input pin, it goes from logical 0 to logical 1. So you can see that when I assert a 1 into the input pin, the wire that connects the input pin to the buffer gate uh, can be touched with the simulation tool. And we can get a, a probe value, which tells us that that wire is carrying a 1 sig signal. And if I click on the output of the buffer gate, on the wire that connects the output of the buffer gate to the output pin, you can see that the probe shows that it's a value of one that's being asserted in that wire. And then if I look at the output pin on the right hand side, you can see that it is a one. Now if I click on the output pin, no change uh, occurs in regard of the circuit. It's only when I click on the input pin that you can observe that. Now there are different controls. So for example, I can zoom in uh, and make the circuit bigger. Uh, that's helpful. Uh, and also as well, every time uh, I click on a particular component uh, in selection mode, now I have to switch off simulation mode here, uh, you'll see that down on the bottom right hand side of the uh, software, we actually get uh, an attributes panel, which tells us something about the properties of each component. Uh, and we'll see that we'll spend a little bit of time uh, when we wire up slightly more complex circuits, uh, fiddling about with the values of uh, attributes of particular components. Uh, but for the moment, what we can say is that we have demonstrated how to wire up a very simple uh, uh, component so that we can see the behaviour of a particular buffer gate. Uh, the buffer gate, of course, has no useful Boolean function whatsoever. Whatever goes into it comes out the other side uh, on changed.